I'm standing in front of some of my plum trees and I'm doing some troubleshooting. I have five of these toka plum trees and unfortunately they did not produce any fruit. Uh, I figured the third year I would probably get some fruit from them. They produced an abundant amount of flowers and so all the signs seemed to be there that I would have some fruit. I did have these tiny tiny little nubs on them and they just didn't really last. I looked into some of the possible reasons why I'm not getting fruit. These toka plums are supposed to be self-fertile, so I didn't technically need to have a cross-pollinator for them. I did actually buy a cross-pollinator for them, uh, uh, some plum trees called Canada plums, which are native plums, uh, but unfortunately they're not old enough yet to actually do any flowers. So until I have those Canada plums actually blossoming, I won't know whether or not they're gonna actually improve the fruit setting on these toka plums. This year I got some expert advice and I took down quite a bit of the of the plum tree in terms of its overall branches. And so this year there's definitely less flowers. There's actually very few flowers on these trees now. So hoping that I do get some fruit sets, the tree will be able to focus all of its energy on the smaller amount of fruits. The second thing I'm going to do to try to improve the fruit set on these plum trees is to do a bit of self-pollination. Basically, if you know of any other plum or if you know of any other fruit trees in your area that you can get if you have a friend that or somebody you know you can always put up an ad on your local uh, wantas to see if anybody has any for the type of tree that you have then you can just ask for a few cuttings especially if it's in the same type of season or blossoming season as the one that you're trying to self-pollinate so I'm going to take this one plum tree that I have out of the five and I'm going to try this self-pollination technique and see if it makes a difference so I'm basically just going to take these flowers and rub them up against the other flowers that are on my tree and hopefully they will pollinate from these flowers. So I am simply going to take my bundle of flowers here that I've gotten from a friend and I'm, so it's better to go above because if pollen's going to drop it's going to drop downwards and then you're just going to kind of mash these flowers together like you know a couple of aliens that are trying to figure out how to French kiss they're just going to kind of mash each other and that's going to kind of create your self-pollination. I've seen other people use uh, things like uh, art brushes to kind of go from one uh, flower to the next, but I'm pretty sure that just doing this technique of just mashing these flowers together is going to solve the same thing. And the pollen's going to fall out from these flowers and go on to my flowers. So will it work? We'll have to wait and see. I basically only did the self-pollination with this one tree. I've got four other trees, so we'll do a comparison later on in the summer to see if this tree was better pollinated, if there was a better fruit set than the other trees. So uh, subscribe if you want to check out uh, a future video where I'll do a check-in on that, and uh, hopefully this tip works. And let me know if you have any other tips. Uh, maybe if you uh, are more of an expert in fruit trees than I am, are there any other things that I could be doing to try to get a better fruit set? This is coming on the fourth year for these plums. I've had high expectations for these, and so I'd really like to have some fruit this year. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video. This is Mike Barnes from Lamb Squares Farm, and I hope to see you in the next one.